A, a final thought about Germany and Europe. I, I talked a lot at the beginning of this interview about French resentment, yeah. and Monburg put it this way, he said, stop pushing us around. There's also resentment running the other way. German resentment of being seen as those who ultimately are expected to bail out the profligate members of the Eurozone. And some Germans, frankly, are sick of it, aren't they? And you see the, the rise of the AFD party, which seems to think a breakup of the Eurozone, Eurozone would be the best thing for mm. Germany. Um, do you worry about that sentiment rising in your country? Yes, this is a serious challenge. But on the other hand, it's completely unfounded because first, so far, we did not have really to pay for other countries. Um, second, uh, we are profiting from the extremely low interest rates. So Germany has become a safe haven for all the funds coming from other countries. So our, uh, as I said, our long term yeah, rates. That, that's Germany being the vampire again. And no, that no, isn't, no, no, that that isn't sustainable, uh, is it? Well, never, but nevertheless, so far, we, our, our finance minister uh, has really been profiting from these very, very low long-term rates. Uh, they, so they are, we are saving about 20 billion euros per annum because of the low interest rates. And third, of course, we are, we are the country that profits most from, from the euro. Because without the euro, we would have experienced a huge appreciation. And maybe we would have ended up with a kind of Japanese-style situation, because that's the main challenge in Japan. They had uh, waves of appreciation, which, which really made the com country uh, non-competitive internationally. And so that would be the risk for okay. Germany with, with its own currency on global markets. But a final thought then. It, it seems to me throughout this discussion the undercurrent has been that the Eurozone is no more in sync today than it was at the height of the crisis in 2010-2011. That is the fundamental problem, that the different countries and the different economies within the Eurozone are still fundamentally out of sync. You're right. I think two years have been wasted. Yeah, so the Eurozone has been saved, so to say, by Mario Draghi. That was in July 2012. And now two years after, no significant changes have been made to make the whole architecture more stable. There have also been no efforts made to stimulate uh, uh, the, the Eurozone economy so to, kind, to create this kind of pressure that you need, that the structural reforms can really Enfold their unfold their uh, their uh, effects. So I would say two years. Two years have been wasted. That's that's a problem.